Hi everyone and welcome back to Visme's monthly feature recap. This November, we've launched some powerful updates to make your design process even more efficient. You can now translate entire projects with just one click and use AI Designer to source content directly from links and documents. So let's dive right in. First, let's talk about an exciting new update to Visme's AI Designer. Now you can generate designs by sourcing text content from links or documents. No more copy and pasting or summarizing. The AI does the heavy lifting for you, saving time and giving you a solid starting point for your projects. Here's how it works. When you start a chat with the AI designer, you'll notice buttons on the left of the text input field. These let you attach a link or document. Once the attachment is uploaded, just tell the chatbot what info you want to use. Pick a theme and voila! In less than two minutes, you'll have a fully editable design ready to go. A couple things to keep in mind is that this is a premium feature and right now it only pulls text content. It works with .doc and .pdf files under 10 pages and 5 megabytes, and some websites might be protected against these bots, so the results might not be perfect in those cases. Give this update a try and see how much faster your workflow becomes. Now, if you're creating content for a global audience, our new Translate Your Project feature makes it easy to translate your design into over 190 languages. It's a fast, simple way to streamline content creation for multilingual needs. You can access this feature in the hamburger menu under Translate Your Project. Select the original language, or it will be auto-detected by default, and choose the language you want to translate it into and decide whether to create a new project or update the existing one. And that's it. Your project will get translated into another language in just a few seconds. This feature is available to pro plans and above, so give it a try and speed up your workflow. We've also made several updates related to hotspots over the course of the last month. First, we've split the actions menu into hotspots and links. This makes it faster to add hyperlinks or connect your content to other slides or projects. We've also added new settings to how hotspots work. Previously, once pop-up content appeared, it stayed open. Now, two new options collapse the pop-up content. Collapse after the next interaction. This setting option closes the pop-up when the user clicks anywhere else on the slide. Close with a button allows users to manually close the pop-up with a button that you can customize perfectly into your design. These changes have made hotspots more intuitive and user-friendly, so you can create better interactive designs. Over the last two months, we've been busy improving the editor UI to make your design experience even cleaner and easier to understand. Recently, we updated the icons in the hamburger menu, left sidebar, and basics, graphics, data, and media menus on the left. We've also refreshed the look and feel of the top bar, including icons and buttons. These changes are part of our ongoing effort to simplify and modernize the interface. We're rolling them out gradually to avoid overwhelming the workflow with many changes all at the same time. We've got additional updates planned as we continue to fine tune the design and make Visme even easier to use. And that's a wrap for November's feature recap. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any updates or new features. While you're here, check out our other videos on design and marketing tips to help level up your skills. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next month's recap.